Georgia is very rich with its uh, historic cultural heritage. Uh, one of the main goals of the Embassy of Georgia here in the United States is to promote our culture, our history. Uh, we are really proud of Georgian diaspora representatives, those who are doing a great job in uh, helping us in promoting Georgian culture. And I think this work is complementary to each other and uh, one of the great demonstrations of this cooperation is the exhibition of artworks by Georgian artists uh, that is held in cooperation with the Georgian Centre. Our mission is to promote Georgian culture abroad and help people to participate in those various events. Uh, Georgian Centre has a, uh, multiple programs that we participate in uh, in the field of art. We believe that our work of cultural exchange through art exhibitions and different educational and different cultural programs um, give us an opportunity to work with uh, people of different backgrounds and diverse skills including youth um, as well as um, vulnerable groups and people with disabilities. For its short existence, over a year, Georgian Center had several projects. We sponsored the art class for Bednissi School for special needs children in rural Georgia. We presented Georgian culture at annual Francophonie Festival. We organized Georgian Heritage Day at the Embassy. And we also had sponsored the Church Hela workshop at the celebration of the 25th independence year of Georgia. Georgian Center has one very interesting goal, is that we would like to unify the entire diaspora. Uh, actually, for me personally, it's more it's the most exciting part to work with Georgian diaspora of different generations. Uh, for example, my mom is 72 and she's always ready to make Churchill or Hajaburi or to teach the kids to how to make themselves Georgian dishes. And another um, uh, goal that we strive to achieve is that we would like to represent Georgian um, culture to the Americans and that we would like to be ambassadors of Georgian culture and incorporate Georgian culture, culture into American lives. The key to that success is uh, the leadership, is the collaboration that we have, is the passion and love for the culture, for art, particularly for Georgian culture and art that we have, and that's how we roll. And in the long run, my, my, my hope is that, that the Georgian Center will bring the Georgian diaspora of all generations to help Georgian youth uh, to root in the Georgian culture so they can find their place in the present and help to build the future without forgetting their heritage. I'm Nico Ciocelli. Uh, I'm a fine artist uh, from the country of Georgia. Uh, and I have my own school uh, here in Pennsylvania where I teach drawing, painting and art history. Uh, also help my students to prepare their portfolios uh, for admittance to the major schools in the country and abroad. It's important for anybody uh, who uh, creates, uh, as being a creator, it's a duty, it's a pretty much sacred duty. Uh, it's never really just a job to be an artist, to be a teacher, uh, to be a creator. It's also a mission. So when you create the work, uh, when you produce your art, you can't live without it first of all. So it's not something which is written in a book that you have to do this way, or is this good for your career, or is this is something uh, you create uh, because you can't do otherwise. It's like a breathing. The only thing I knew about Georgia before I met Nico was I knew a little bit about the politics, but I really didn't know much, if anything, about the culture, the language, the beauty of the country until I started coming uh, to see Nico. And you cannot be in this studio, and you cannot be near Nico and not be completely overwhelmed by Georgia. It's everywhere. It's all through this, the, this studio. Nico talks about it constantly. Once you realize who you are and what you love, it becomes a passion, a uh, lifelong uh, mission. Uh, and uh, you do it because this is your very being. With every fiber of my being, I had been spreading um, beauty, truth, awareness of my 
very, very special homeland called Georgia. I have an impression that they're very giving people. They're very kind. I think they're full of joy. At least the ones I have met have always been very happy people and, and generous and very creative. I think they're very, very creative people. So, yeah. My name is Thea Okropiritze and um, I weave tapestry, which uh, back in Georgia we call it Gobelin. To be honest, I love everything about tapestry. It's a very traditional Georgian um, way of weaving. Um, it's very important for me to keep that um, tradition but also give something new and contemporary. But the way I weave and way how it's a tapestry supposed to be woven, it's the same. So I'm glad that I keep this tradition and uh, still alive. I'm a George Gabladze and I'm a sculptor. This this is my life, so I can express uh, everything I want to express with my artwork. Uh, that's the best skill probably I have to express my emotions and uh, if I want to deliver a message, that's the way I can. I, I respect art a lot because uh, Art is the one of the main thing uh, what is able to uh, like keep a world beautiful and uh, uh, make people think differently, change people's life. I owe art a lot. So uh, my life I'm dedicating to art because the uh, pleasure I'm taking from art, uh, uh, like starting from my childhood, uh, I have this huge respect and uh, I don't know, I just developed that, uh, so I developed some skills so I can just continue that, hopefully to like uh, carry these uh, like messages or positive energies through the art and share it with the other people, does not matter. It's gonna be here in America, in Georgia, in China or anywhere, it's, it's a universal language. You don't, wanna tr you don't need to translate it. So um, I feel like I'm blessed. Uh, so again, uh, that's my life. I am Pat Atsikurishvili, founding artistic director of Synetic Theater. Synetic Theater is a unique theater, so to speak. It's a hybrid of synthesis and kinetic, and that's how it reflects in the name. I made up the word, it became Synetic. Uh, what we do is very important for me because that's what I was dreaming about it, and that's all I know about it. I love to be uh, something good I am not. I love to bring my messages to people. I love to make them laugh, make them cry, and um, and also think. Uh, I moved uh, in U.S. in 2001, and uh, uh, I became an actor of Synetic Theater. And a little later on, I started making sound designs, became assistant of director. So, and this is kind of became my life. This is my mission. 
uh, it's my goal to introduce to Americans Georgian heritage by doing, even though world's classics doesn't matter, you always see, you always feel it, Georgian roots. You know, when you think about Mexico, when you think about Spain or Italy, you immediately know tradition of those countries. And Georgia is so small, but we are so unique, so different. So I want to people, when you're telling I'm Georgian, immediately, then I want them to know as well as uh, Italy or Spain. This is the way I am able to also introduce to Americans Georgia culture. Not to mention that we have Georgian uh, actors and actresses as well in the company. Yes, there are a lot of amazing theaters, amazing actors, directors. No doubt about this. It's America. But we had something which they never had done before. My dream is that maybe somehow the Georgian community also will kind of stand out, stand up uh, with us together, and then maybe we do something together to just make it even abroad. So we have an amazing opportunity because right here in DC area, next to Pentagon, we have this theater company, we have building, we have studios, we have classes, our name is well established already. So we have watched the Post, New York Times, any major newspapers uh, tell about us and they always start saying that we are native Georgians. If anybody's gonna uh, stand next to us and if anybody's gonna help us, we will make much better things rather than we do now. One person can do a lot, two people can do even more, ten people can do even more, and etc. etc. So I'm hopeful that Georgian diaspora will learn what I've been doing alone uh, and join forces. And we can do so much more to give out our love. Person has to be like a candle. Uh, you light up uh, and it, you don't lose much. The candle continues to light up, but it's, it doesn't lose the light which it gives out. But it also melts down slowly, so it gives its life to the others, gives its light to the others. That is a beautiful way of living. So we will be many, many candles, right? All these Georgians, they will light up entire North America. So I hope that's my goal, that maybe one day we can brightly light up this country and add more lights.